Hey, what's up 2K culture? It's your boy Indy 2K all day, every day, and in the house and the place to be. And today guys, with only about 9 hours left to get this Invincible Equal Chance pack, I finally completed all of the season agendas it took to get the Invincible Equal Chance pack. And boy, am I happy that it's finally over because it was one huge grind. 11 50 point games, I was basically doing one game a night. And then today I tied up all the loose ends and I completed the rest of the season agendas. But before we pop this pack open, I just want to say that the one card that I'm gunning for in this pack that I want to see pop out as soon as we rip it open is just Akeem Olajuwon. Akeem the Dream Olajuwon, that would be my dream come true. I do not want to see Kyrie Irving and I do not want to see Harrison Barnes. And I don't really have high hopes that I'm going to land Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. But besides that, I wouldn't mind getting Allen Iverson or even Chris Mullen. I love me some Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen is one of my all-time favorite players. Not only is Chris Mullen a living legend, but he is one of my all-time favorite players in real life and in 2K. I think his jump shot, his release is pure butter. So without any further delay, let's rip this pack open and let's see what pops out. Okay guys, let's see what this is. Okay guys, we got that beautiful, beautiful glow that I could just stare at all day and all night. I just absolutely love that animation and that glow. I mean, just look how much I love it. I got my little man, my little helper over here. Let's see okay, what that is. See. Small forward, small forward. Who do we have? Invincible Harrison Barnes. Okay guys. He's like the worst. Out yeah. of all of them. That is true. You heard it right there. Okay guys, this was a huge L. I was hoping to get Akeem the Dream Olajuwon, but this turned more into a nightmare. Because if it wasn't Akeem Olajuwon, I wanted, I wanted to at least see Allen Iverson, or at the very least, or at the very least see Chris Mullen come through those doors. The one card that we wanted to avoid, the one card that we wanted the least, I can't even say we wanted this card, period. So it looks like tonight, guys, we will be purchasing that Invincible option pack where you could select the player you want and I will actually be getting Akeem the Dream Olajuwon, the card that I actually really wanted. Screw the agendas, they were a huge waste of time. For me right now, I feel like I just want to put this in F tier, I mean. I'm be a beautiful player. This is F tier. This is like freaking F tier for me. F tier. Like, who the heck would want this? I and he's F tier. He's just F tier. Okay, now let's... Okay guys, with all that said, peace out 2K community. I do it for the 2K culture. I do it for my 2K fam. Stay savage, not average. Don't waste so much time on agendas and challenges. Sometimes they turn out to be a huge waste of time. Thanks for nothing, 2K. Hey, what's up, 2K culture? It's your boy, Indy. 2K all day, every day, in the house and the place to be. We've got in front of us the Invincible Option Pack. And the reason for that is because I was pretty disappointed with what I got out of the Invincible Equal Chance Pack. I don't know why they called it the Invincible Equal Chance Pack. Because the chance of you getting the player that you actually wanted, that you actually grinded it out for, is about a 17% chance of you getting the actual player that you really want. I grind out season agendas and spotlight challenges just like anyone else. The thing is, is that most of the time, I find it to be a huge disappointment. Just like the Invincible Equal Chance Pack. I found it to be a huge disappointment because what popped out of it at the end when I ripped it open? Nothing but Harrison Barnes. And who the fuck wants to play with Harrison Barnes? I don't care how many shots he's hitting for you. You didn't come to play NBA 2K my team with invincible Harrison Barnes. You came to run with Allen Iverson, Akeem Olajuwon, Kyrie Irving, Chris Mullen. Those are the four players I would have been happy with getting. And I know most people say the only good player in this set is Akeem Olajuwon, but looking back at it now, after doing that huge grind, I would have accepted and been completely happy with an Allen Iverson, a Kyrie Irving, or even, or even a damn Chris Mullen at this point. Anything but a Harrison Barnes. And wait up, was Kevin Love in this set? No, no, he wasn't in this set. Fuck, heck yeah, I would have been happy with the Kevin Love. Just anything but Harrison Barnes. Or even Allen Iverson and Kyrie Irving. Nobody wanted those small point cards. But now looking back at it, I would have easily accepted 
and been happy and taken any of those cards if I could have just gotten one of those four cards anything but Harrison Barnes but 2k does that shit on purpose they know that you are grinding it out because you wanted one of these invincible cards badly and the algorithms they easily they easily know and can tell which cards you want to play and what cards you're gonna want out of that set they knew they could have spit me out any of these five cards and I would have been accepting of it and happy with it and I would have still gone over here and purchased this invincible option pack just like I am right now because in life that's the only way you're gonna get anything that you want is by doing it and getting it yourself it's just now I'm a little conflicted with who I should get obviously the number one choice has to be Akeem Olajuwon he's definitely the best card the best player in this set the only thing that sucks is, is just six weeks ago I spent mad chicken ripping open 20 box trying to get Akeem Olajuwon until I finally locked in for Akeem Olajuwon and got him through the lock-in it was so recent that I haven't even had a chance and a time to edit the video and put that lock in video out because here I am barely six weeks later replacing and upgrading my Akeem Olajuwon and that's really not fair of NBA 2K. They figured, hey, if you're not going to gamble for these cards, we know you're at least going to want to upgrade your cards. We're going to get your chicken either way. So here I am, replacing and upgrading my Akeem Olajuwon. Going from the 99 overall Dark Matter Akeem to now the Invincible Akeem. And I hope there's a major significant difference from the 98 overall Galaxy Opal Akeem Olajuwon to the 99 Dark Matter Akeem Olajuwon. It was a big, huge, significant jump but not at the cost of getting him. The only thing I can say about attaining the Invincible Team USA, Akeem Olajuwon, is that it wasn't that difficult to attain him, and it wasn't that expensive. It was only 40. With that all said, guys, let's rip this pack open, and let's bring Akeem, the Dream Olajuwon, home so I can sleep good tonight, because he's definitely going to make the squad. You already know he's on the team, and like I said, all he's going to be doing is replacing and upgrading the Akeem Olajuwon that I already have in my starting lineup. I just... Oh my gosh, could you imagine if I accidentally picked Harrison Barnes again? But yeah, I would have been happy with any of these four players. I think the player I would have been the happiest with would have been Allen Iverson, followed by Chris Mullen, then Kevin Love, and then Kyrie Irving. But I would have been way happier with any of these four players than this crappy-ass fucker. That fucking blows... It ruined my whole fucking day to think about all the hours and the days and the and the like week and a half that I put in grinding it out to only get Harrison Barnes. That shit was such a disappointment and so non acceptable. I said, fuck it, I'm just gonna head back to work, grind out some OT, and get the car that I actually want myself. Fuck season agendas and, and fuck spotlight challenges. Those those things aren't free. They're a waste of your time. And time is money. It only cost me two hours to get this card. To get the money for this card. Opposed to the week I spent grinding it out in front of the TV. Just to get Harrison Barnes. What a fucking waste of time that was. And life. But yeah, I hope eventually there's a way to attain more of these invincible cards. Because back in the day... All jokes, <clears throat> all jokes aside, I used to love running with Kevin Love, no pun intended, and Chris Mullen. And Allen Iverson and Kyrie Irving are always fun to play with. But with all that said, guys, let's select Akeem Olajuwon and get this over with because I can't wait to see this new animation and this new glow that I've never seen before. Never seen this. Oh, what happened here? Do we just go to our unopened packs now or something? Or I thought it was just going to be like right there and then. What the fuck just happened? Oh man, what a fucking huge ripoff. 